it's your robin banks and i'm back with another story i don't even know if this is considered a story time video more like a rant but i'm back with another video and as you can see by the title this is like a story but not really a story it's like a rant about i want to say my worst hair salon experience or my experience with this one hair salon in brooklyn um, I don't even know where to begin with this story, but I'm only making this video because a lot of people replied to my story on a few days back. So a few days back, let me just give a little, this is the reason why I'm making the story before I even get into it, right? A couple days ago, I posted on my story, a ball of hair. I'm going to include the picture here. I posted on my story a ball of hair because I basically sat in front of my mirror and cut all my hair off and my my natural hair. And the real reason why I did that is because um, I felt like my hair was super damaged and I know I wear a lot of wigs, but I have, I would consider myself to say I have healthy hair. Like it's not too super it's not super coarse it's not super long but i'm gonna insert some pictures of my hair and like what it was before i visited this hair salon that i think destroyed my hair and i had pretty decent length and healthy hair like i barely wear my hair i would consider myself someone who wears my hair in protective styles because i always wear i'm always wearing a wig that means my hair is always in braids and as disgusting as this may sound but I wear my, my wig braids for a while, like, I want to say two months, three months. And I know this sounds nasty as hell, but when you just wear your hair in braids and you leave it in for a while without, like, washing, washing it, it really grows your hair. I don't know if that's just for me, but I feel like my hair grows better when it's just, like, in braids for a while and it's just... I just oil my scalp every now and then and I just let it do its own thing. When you play, I feel like when you play with your hair a lot, it doesn't grow as much. So that's probably, that's why I don't wear my natural hair a lot. Now, anytime, like I go through these phases, usually around my birthday, where I would get a washing set. If you're from New York, you know what a washing set is. It's basically when you go to the Dominicans and they wash your hair and they blow it out and you get a little doobie wrap. So every few months, I want to say every three to six months or not even three, more like five, six months out of nowhere, I get a washing set because I like to see my hair's length and I will wear my hair natural for like a week or two. The longest I wear it is a month only because I am natural. I, I am not relaxed and a blowout doesn't last. A blowout doesn't last long. On like after a week or two, it starts getting super puffy and it's a lot to deal with. So, right. So, I get my hair wash and press. I mean, yeah, wash and set. I wanted to do a silk press. The last time, I wanted to get my hair silk pressed before, but it's not a lot of people in my city that really specialize in silk press. And a few people that I found, it's like, um, you have to book in advance and I never really know when I want to wear my natural hair. It's just really spontaneous when I'm just like, okay, let me take a break from my wig and like wear my natural hair. So that's why I go and get a wash and set. So this is just, that's just a little, little back, I want to say a little back story, but about my hair. So now I want to say last year I was going to, um, this place by this Dominican place that's literally across the street from my house. The salon has been on my street for like as long as i can remember like they got new owners but it was still a dominican hair salon and i never had no problems going to get my hair washed and blown over there like they did a good job it was not really a lot of never like busy i could always just walk in and get my hair done and then it was super convenient because it was across the street from my house but unfortunately the owner sold it and now it's a barber shop so i couldn't get my hair washed and set there anymore so it was a time i was like basically on instagram and i made like a question box and i was like where can i get my hair washed and set and i have natural coarse hair like i want my hair to be like straight because when i went to the previous hair salon they will fire on my hair. I want to insert some pictures. My washing sets will be like, you would think I had a perm. And I never had a problem. Like my curl, like the blowout, I never had a problem 
um once it puffs up my natural my hair goes back in a natural state i never really had issues from getting washed and sets now i put like i said i put the question bar on instagram i'm like where can i get a wash and set and everyone requested this hair salon oh i was about to say the name but i don't want to get sued if i don't sue them first because but everyone requested this hair salon and I think it has two locations in the in the Flatbush area or three locations. I'm not going to lie, though. I've been hearing about this Dominican spot since I was a young boy. Like, when it was popping to go outside and get a washing set with a doobie wrap, like, when every girl, like, when the wigs wasn't a thing and, like, you would get weaves on occasion and you were just wearing your natural hair, everybody would go to these places, the, to one of these locations to get their hair washing set. So, when people were referring it to me, I did not think anything of it. And when I went on Yelp, because I Yelped it, and I was looking at the reviews, a lot of people were saying that it was, they felt like the, the establishment was racist or, like, wasn't patient with their hair and stuff. But, I mean, I should have took that as a sign, but I'm somebody that, I want my own experience because I remember someone told me, a business owner told me that people were only review your establishment when they have a bad review so anytime i see a place with super bad reviews i thought about it because i go to places and when i have good experiences i don't think to jump on yelp and write a report but if they mess me if they have me fucked up or like they the service is terrible i'm yeah i'm gonna jump and leave a review so when i was seeing the bad reviews i'm like I don't think it's that bad. It's just a few people that probably had bad experiences with this place. But everyone recommended this place to me. And I've been hearing about this place since I was a young bull. So it can't be that bad. It's still open, right? People still referring it. It's still good. Boom. Now, I went to go get a washing set. I took my braids out. I took my braids out from my um, one of my installs. I took my wig off. Took my braids out. And I, um, I untangled my hair. Cause I know like a lot of places they don't, they, you could tell people don't, they be huffing and puffing when they got to untangle your hair. So I made sure I untangled my hair. I put it in four big plaits and I went to go get a washing set. So first things first, first red flag. When I read on Yelp, right? I mean, when I read like on Yelp, people were saying, oh, they always say they have a promotion on Wednesdays and Tuesdays, it's like cheaper to get your hair washed. So I guess it's like fifteen dollars or something, and then the usual. I, I guess it's like twenty or fifteen dollars, and the usual price ranges from thirty to fifty dollars. So that's good. So I made sure I took my ass there on a Wednesday because we love a good deal. I'm cheap. The first red flag when I walked into this establishment, I'm like, hey, I'm here to get a washing set. The first thing the lady said to me was like, for you, $50. And in my head, I'm just like, they even had a sign in the door that said Wednesdays and Thursdays. It was cheaper. So when she told me it was $50, I'm like, why is it $50 for me? Like, you have a sign that say wash and set. And she's like, oh, mommy, that's if you get wash. She's like, you're going to have to blow out your hair. That's for when you get wash and roller set. I'm like, but aren't you gonna? All right, but I still felt like from twenty dollar special, fifty dollar is a big jump. Like, cause you have to blow dry my hair. It's thirty extra dollars. All right, whatever. So now. I'm not a tender-headed person, but I feel like the person I was washing my hair, she was being mad rough, and then it was water all over my clothes. Like, you have control of the hose. Why is there water all over me? She seemed to be frustrated dealing with coarse hair. Like, she seemed to be super annoyed because the majority of the other woman that was in the salon that day was either relaxed or, like, had finer hair, like... They were from Span like they was Spanish background. They had finer hair. I would say more manageable hair. And then I felt like she was annoyed with me because my hair was coarse. Like you could tell. I'm telling you, if you ever been to a Dominican place, I'm sure. A Dominican hair salon, I'm sure. Y'all had that y'all sat down and felt like you that you was giving them a hard time because your hair was coarser. They will really make you feel that. Like she was just huh, kept 
combing through my hair, being mad rough and speaking Spanish. And I don't, I'm not saying she was talking about me, but I could just imagine from the tone that she was saying that my hair was just too much. Cool. After the washer did my hair, um, I went to the lady to blow out my hair. Also, when I was getting my hair washed, she kept asking me if I wanted deep condition. I was like, no. I was trying to be cheap. Like, I was being cheap. I'm not going to lie because I'm already spending $50 for a wash and blow. And then you're going to me, charge me for conditioner, which is probably going to be another $20. I was like, no, thank you, mommy. But I still feel like she was putting something to soften my hair because after a while, my hair became, like, when she was um washing it and, like, entangling it it seemed to be like smoother i want to say or like less coarse it was just like the combs running through it but i just thought she conditioned my hair so i get in a chair and the lady blows me out first of all the lady who blows me out she was trying to roll us at me and i'm like can you just blow me out she was like oh i'm a roller so you put it on the dryer i'm like no that's too much heat for my hair like you're gonna put my hair in rollers have me sit under the dryer then come out the dryer and then you're gonna blow dry it like girl that is a lot of heat damage i'm like no just blow it out and she was like oh your hair is wet your hair is wet and i'm like towel dry it like i know you're not supposed to blow dry like soaking wet hair but you towel dry it and then you blow dry it anyways she ended up blowing dry in my hair i'm not gonna lie she did a good job because my hair was smashed straight i'm gonna see if i can insert the clips here because i recorded when i got my hair done um this is a few months back though i recorded when i was getting a washing set because i was like Ooh, i'm about to be coming out here like 2009 i just need a juicy sweatsuit honey but she did good my hair was giving hang time but i had like some split ends i was like can you cut it a little bit actually i don't even think i asked her she told me she was like oh i'm gonna cut your hair and i'm like all right she was like i'm gonna trim your hair i'm like all right but i ain't gonna lie I feel like she 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 got a little scissor happy. Whoa, 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 now. You got too much dip on your chip. Happy because my hair was down my back. Not I'm not gonna say it was steep, like in the middle, but it was like up here, it was up here. I had hair and I knew where I had sp like split ends. And I feel like she cut a little bit too much, but I don't care. I'm not really I'm not big on length. I'm more of like I'd rather my hair look healthy. So if she felt that the need to cut that much hair off, hey, I wasn't I wasn't tripping about it cool now i didn't see nothing wrong with my hair i pressed like i wore the washing set for like three months and then i got my a wig installed and then from that point on i think i probably continued to get wigs installed and then in like when i did wash my hair on my own the first time i washed my hair on the own on my own after taking out my wig installed i realized that when i washed my hair like myself it wasn't getting nappy and <laughs> if you know you know your hair like i said i have sort of coarse hair my hair hold like gets super curly it shrinks up and i was looking at my hair and it was like not curling it wasn't sh bone straight but it wasn't really getting like super natural curls and i'm like okay i didn't think nothing of it i'm like all right whatever get another install months pass i take it out and i'm like nah my hair is really like not curling oh wait no i'm fat i'm going too fast sorry let's move on the first time i got my wig installed and i took the wig off and took the braids out my hair wasn't curling right and i was gonna go get another washing set so when i went to the oh i forgot to say the name when i went to the place i'm like um can you just wash my hair <laughs> And I'm going to just get it. I'm like, I want to wash it and don't blow dry it. Because I was thinking that the blow dry, maybe the blow dryer made my hair like not like get back to the curls. I'm like, all right, maybe it's heat damage. So I'm like, um, I want to roller set it and sit under the dryer on low heat. And she was like, all right. But when she finished washing my hair, my hair was pin straight like. It looked like I had a perm. So I'm like, this. the last time I came here, I felt like my hair, like, it didn't get back curly. And now you just wash my hair, it's not curling. She was like, oh, no, mommy, it's heat damage. It's heat damage when you straighten your hair. Like, you straighten your hair, it's heat damage. So I'm like, I don't flat iron my hair. Like, I'm not somebody that flat iron my own hair. I don't press my own hair. I don't blow dry my own hair. When I'm in between installs, 
I really just get a fresh set of Meeks and get a new wig. So when she was trying to convince me it's hair damage, in my head, I'm like, all right, maybe it's hair damage. But when I was thinking about it, I'm like, the last time I had heat on my hair, it was when I was here. So between now and like two months ago, there's no way I got this much heat damage where my hair is not curling back up. You understand? So now over time, as time is going and I'm just taking out my hair and washing on my own, I'm realizing more and more like my hair is not getting curled. So let's fast forward <laughs> to the other day when I posted the video on my story. I was about to get my hair done. As you can see, I got my hair done. Mm -hmm, it's fire. She fired. I'm going to link her. I'm going to link her in the body because she fired on my hair every time. But I took my old braids out. Mind you, I had them braids in since my birthday. It's August. I got my hair, my wig installed June 24th. So from June 24th to now, I had the same, same braids in. And when I took my braids out and I combed it out, I couldn't really tell. But when I went to go wash my hair in deep condition, I noticed that all the, like, my roots were super, super thick and, like, coarse. Like, that's new growth, like, new hair growing in. And my ends were, like, super stringy. And, like, it just looked very damaged and in my head i'm like this is how my hair looked when i was transitioning from perm to natural my roots were super skinny i mean my roots were super coarse and full and my ends were super limp and that's because my new growth was my natural growth was growing out and like my ends where all the chemical was was at the ends and they were damaged so i'm starting to think and i'm like think these bitches put perm in my hair like i think they put something texturizer or perm in my hair because there's no way even from heat damage my hair would have still have some type of curl it was not no curls towards the ends it was limp and i really sat in front of my mirror and i'm like yo my hair is dead damaged so that's when i took a scissors and i literally all the stringy parts i literally cut all the all the dead ends off like all the processed ends off and i posted the hair bowl on instagram and a lot of people i wrote like oh i think that once i got this washer set from this place my hair's been damaged ever since and i'm just i cut all the hair off and i'm gonna grow back fresh because i feel like when you grow your hair fresh it's just you can tell the difference a lot of people started replying to my story like oh that's how my hair was after i went to I'm not gonna say the name, but after I went to that salon, and even when I was speaking to my cousin, she was saying when she went to that salon too, her hair never been the same. Like she felt like they put a texturizer or a perm in it. So all these people's responding to my story and they're like, yo, I feel like they put perm in their hair. So I'm starting to think these places, this place, I'm not gonna say these places because I've been to other Dominican places. Like I said, the place I was going through for years that lived that's on on my street, and I never had this problem. I'm gonna say this specific place. And based on the reaction I was getting from her when she was untangling my hair, they do not want to deal with black hair. They do not want to deal with coarse textured hair. So instead of them doing, putting the work that they have to put in or dealing with your hair, they rather manipulate your texture or like adjust your hair to their needs. So they sneak and perm they're sneaking texturizer or chemicals into whatever shampoo, whatever conditioner they're using. They're sneaking it into that mixture so that they can do your hair better and they can comb through your hair better and they can blow dry your hair better. And I feel like that, if they're putting chemicals in my hair without my knowledge, like what if I was allergic to the chemicals in perm or texturizer or whatever y'all put in? They're putting their own stuff in my hair. I didn't consent you guys to relax or straighten my hair. And then you try to make me go under the dryer with with um rollers and then blow dry my hair. Like you was really trying to damage, damage, damage. Like you wanted me to be a bald headed scallywag. And I was really thinking about it. And all these people had bad reviews. And somebody was telling me how they was so they was gonna sue them. And you could really sue them. And I did my research. I don't know if I'm gonna sue them. But I just felt like everyone should know, like, be careful. And people were telling me, like, when you go get washing sets or get these type of services, 
you should bring your own shampoo and conditioner otherwise they're going to cater to their needs not your needs and if your hair is too coarse for them to comb through or straighten they will add a texturizer a, a relaxer into the conditioner or the shampoo and relax your hair so that it could be straight enough for them like that i feel like that is so like crazy and it was really reflective based on the yelp reviews i've seen but like i said i overlooked that and i should have never overlooked it but i overlooked it because i felt like listen if you have of course if one person has a bad experience they're gonna write a review that doesn't mean everyone had a bad experience and a lot of people recommended this place to me and i've been hearing about this place since i was a young bull i thought they was a the top one wash and set spot in flatbush but they try to perm my hair all in all, like I said, this was a rant. But all in all, I cut all the damaged hair off. Everybody was like, you're bugging. You cut your hair. Like, you had so much hair because they seen the hairball. And I'm just like, hair is hair. It doesn't define you. It's going to grow back. And I'm somebody that I rarely wear my real hair out. I'm always in a wig. So my hair is going to be grown before no time. Like, I'm going to have my hair back before a long time. Not before no time. I'd rather my hair be, long, like, thick and healthy than long and skimp and fried and like it took me a lot to convert from relaxer to natural healthy hair so to have to start all over again it really had me sad i'm not gonna lie when i saw my hair damaged like that i really was crying cutting my hair off <laughs> i really was crying cutting my hair off but then i realized like it's just hair and i never wear my hair anyway and i'd rather my hair grow back full and thicker it's probably gonna grow back twice as healthy and yeah it's just hair i'm gonna try some new products now because i'm technically up on a natural journey again but i'm gonna try some new products and see how it works with my hair growth i got this oil from los organics oh you can't see you can't see it it's really cute packaging it's a hair serum i like i can't wait to use this in between my braids like i didn't get to use it when I before I got my install because I didn't come in time but when I take this wig off like in between my installs I'm gonna put it in oh my gosh it's not can you see can you see can you see you can't see but I'm gonna put the Instagram to where you could buy this I'm gonna put it in the description I'm gonna put the Instagram right here but I cannot wait to use it I cannot wait to use it and she also sent me um this lip scrub with this brush and let me tell you I've had exfoliating lip scrubs but this brush is the smartest thing I ever seen in my life like did you ever have you ever seen a lip brush like a brush that exfoliates your lips because I don't know about y'all but when I exfoliate my lips I use a toothbrush which I think everybody does that or was it just me but this the conveniency in this is crazy like I love this it's so like like who thought of this but she sent it with this lip scrub and I've been using it and like I don't look right now but baby your lips are soft so I'm gonna put the information for this I'm gonna put the information for this in the bio, but I can't wait to use this hair serum because right now I'm a bald headed scallywag. I don't think I took any pictures with when, when my little fro because my hair is like literally a little ass fro right now, like it's just enough to braid. <laughs> I don't think I um took any pictures with the fro, but if I did, I'll include it here and like I'll keep y'all updated on my Instagram or I'll make update videos about my hair growth, my hair growth journey with the serum and some other natural hair products because now i'm starting all the way from scratch but like just be careful and be mindful of these hair salons and pay attention to the reviews because it really i really overlooked the reviews and i could have avoided my i, I could have avoided this whole situation and it took me a while to Everybody took me a while to realize that and the fact that a lot of people feel like they've been through the same thing it's crazy what these establishments is doing and now i'm only gonna try to go to establishments that cater to black hair and i'm gonna have to be patient if i want to wear my hair straight i'm gonna have to go to someone who does a silk press which i know they're not gonna sneak perm my hair or anything like that and i want to go to like black places that cater to black hair because i feel like a lot of these dominican hair spots they don't know how to deal with coarse hair and I, that's confusing to me because there's a lot of coarse hair women from the dominican republic so it's like why are y'all 
I don't know. But if you watch to the end, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to me. I have more content coming. We're on the journey to 5K. Give this video a thumbs up. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tune in. Tune in, 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 tune in.